you gonna, he's gonna come to the job. Watch out. So welcome to my show. Everybody your fishing pole. That's a team. Come on now, let's go. Home. Let's see how oh. it goes. <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? So today we'll be going to one of my regular spots no new regular spots um, down on uh, Lafouche and Terrebonne I believe that's the ones uh, Bayou Junction I believe is what it's called uh, it's the bridge that I've been going to where I, me and the girls have been catching several uh, bowfin and gar and stuff like that so uh, it's not too far away from the house there is a little bit of a storm coming, which that's not a concern with me. I mean, it's, it was 91 degrees about an hour ago, and now it's cooling off. Um, so, uh, I mean, I don't mind the rain. I'd rather be wet with rain than wet with sweat. So, um, sorry that there hadn't been more videos here lately. Uh, not from a lack of trying. Did several attempts. Went down. Uh, to Elmer's Island, uh, that's near Grand Isle. Uh, trying to do some shark fishing. Uh, we caught several fish, just no sharks. Um, and a lot of it was, <clears throat> there was a lot of fish biting, mostly lady fish. Uh, I was throwing spoon on a light rod, actually Jasmine's new rod. I was trying to get her hooked up on some fish which she caught um, a uh, sand trout and a speckled trout. Now we hooked up on several speckled trout that got off. Didn't get a single lady fish in, but I probably hooked into 50 or 100 of them. Uh, just when they jump and shake their head, they have very thin mouths, so the hook just comes right out. Just, I mean, I, I was hooking into multiples per cast. Uh, I had the camera with me it's just it was it was action but it wasn't the right kind of action if that makes any sense um, yeah we were hooking up on fish but we wasn't getting a lot of men um, there it's just random oddball stuff like I caught a, a lizard fish with my hands um jessica actually spotted its eyes sticking up out of the sand its eyes and its, its nose sticking up out of the sand she thought it was a baby stingray uh but she was just like look and pointed and i knew exactly what it was as soon as i saw it I reached down and grabbed a hold to it with my hands again of course this wasn't on camera but unless i had the camera on it i wouldn't have gotten that because it was something like she pointed, I saw what it was, and I didn't want it to, I guess, realize it was being looked at um, and take off, so I reached down and grabbed it. So uh, so that's kind of a rundown of the, the most recent trip that we took that we didn't get on video. Um, today, I don't expect a whole lot. There was some lightning. Now, that, that, that's a no-go. But... Um, I'm going to throw around some artificial, small artificials to try and get some sunfish of some sort. Uh, and then I'll rig up some rods for uh, bowfin and gar and go from there. Anyways, that's for a long uh, intro. See you guys here in a little bit. Alright guys, <clears throat> like I said on the way here, it's raining. Get a little show you what i'm working with here got a little beetle spin here just a little 130 second ounce just gonna throw it around here shouldn't take too long to get either a <clears throat> bluegill or a warmouth probably get a little bass too just gonna reel it real slow There's a tire right in front of me. I wonder if there's anything hiding out in there. Oh, 
Oh, something hit at it. Hmm. Missed him. Let's see. I'm gonna toss it right over there. Oh! All right, figured that out. <clears throat> All right, the way these fish seem to want it, which I've gotten, I haven't gotten but two bites, but they want it falling. It's real slow. There we go. There's a fish. <clears throat> and a warm mouth. And some old line. What in the hell? Alright. First fish is a warm mouth. Kind of. If it wasn't a warm mouth, I figured it had been a bass. But unfortunately for this guy, he's going to be bait. Alright, guys. We got a fish running while I was waiting on a bite. Uh, <clears throat> throw around the beetle spin a little bit more. Got another warm mouth for bait, and my float is leaving. Um, <laughs> I guess a little bass, a little sun, a little uh, warm mouth over here chasing minnows. There's, there's a ton of mosquito fish, but uh, we're gonna set it on this fish here in a second. I got the 30 pound braid, just is kind of a abrasion resistance yeah, that little guy is hungry all right i think we're gonna go ahead and set it we're gonna let it come tight oh he came off and there's a gator over there i'm not sure if you guys can see him crossing the bayou right there not the one i heard the one i heard was that way Oh, there's another alligator over there on the <clears throat> other bank coming down this way. A little small one. Oh, there's another little bitty one. A little bitty small one. That one that was right here. In, oh, he just popped up. That one right there is mm, about six foot, which, yeah, that's a nice size one, but it's not. A, they can get 10 foot bigger. This one right here in front of me is a little three footer, probably. That one back there is probably about five foot. Four, eh, four or five. A correction on this one it might be closer to seven foot all right check this guy out <clears throat> i mean yeah good for you you got a boat but do you really have to burn through everything over here oh i got a little bit of go oh he got off all right this time he actually slowed down Yeah, the last couple of times he's done that straight through here. I got a little something on the mosquito fish on the little bitty hook on the little bitty rod. Let's see what we got. Oh, it's a tiny little gar. Check that out, guys. <laughs> oh, back here. <laughs> Check that out. Little bitty guard on rod and reel. Tiny little guy. I've already got three of them in the aquarium. So I'm going to let this dude go. Not that quick. Oh, I didn't get a picture of him. Oh, well. 
All right, guys, I know it's a little dark. I'm gonna try and get this fish and then head on out. Uh, was pulling pretty good, stopped, started pulling again. Float went under and then float popped right back up and I haven't noticed it move again. So I don't know if, no. my bottom rod just took off like crazy. Being that my float rod isn't moving anymore, I'm gonna go ahead and see if there's still a fish on here. No, there's not. I'm gonna leave it. I think the fish is still on the float. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and try and set it. Nope, I actually didn't even feel tension. Oh, he ate it. Oh, huh, didn't eat it. He cut through it somehow. I guess he sat there and chewed on it so long he cut, chewed the hook off. Literally, chewed through 30 pound braid. Which isn't that abrasion resistant. It's just I'm not going after big monster gar. So, I mean, yeah, there's a possibility of one being in here. Always is. It's Louisiana. But, yeah, that's the way that goes today. All right. See y'all back at the truck. All right. Well, wasn't completely super eventful, but we did get some fish. Um, I mean, it would have been a lot better if I wasn't having to struggle to get bait. There was about an hour there where I couldn't get any uh, any bait, so uh, lost out on that, really. But, um, I mean, hopefully this does, this putting a little bit of something out there. It's not, like I said, it's not great video right now. Um, the struggle's real, guys. It's hot out here. I hadn't been coming out. Uh, over the past week because it's just been so hot and then today like i said there's that rainstorm that was coming through i'm like okay there's my little opportunity there it's gonna be cooler <clears throat> i'd rather be wet with rain than wet with sweat but of course the rain cleared up sun came out and then i was wet with sweat and rain so uh just humid so humid but anyways uh hope you guys liked it uh if you would please like and subscribe and um, see you guys next time